Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Kimberly. I'm Mama Fred, aka CC. You're gonna want to clear your schedule because today we're gonna be making papaya salad. This is a refreshing green papaya salad that is tossed in an umami packed dressing made up of cherry tomatoes, garlic, sugar, fish sauce, lime, Thai chili, fermented shrimp paste, and salted crab. We're just gonna start off by cooking the proteins. So today our proteins of choice are squid and shrimp. You don't want to cook it too much. I'm gonna get two. Just two minutes each time. I'm using the same pan, using the same oil, and cook our shrimp. We don't need to season it because um, the sauce from the salad will be soaking in here. And it's gonna be very good. So we're gonna peel the papaya and then we're gonna put these shreds into the ice bath so it gets a little extra crunchy. So this is gonna be the easiest way to shred it. You can cut it by hand while you're holding it or you can cut it into like little slices and then just like little thin mash sticks. But I like to do things the easy way. Try another way to shred it using Look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at what she's stuck in here so she can get bigger shreds. No, it's just like this. This way is definitely way more time consuming, but you get bigger pieces, so kind of different textures in there. So this is originally a Thai dish, but a lot of Southeast Asians make this too. So this is just my own interpretation of it. So traditionally it's made in a mortar and pestle and you pound the whole portion of salad in here, but I like to just make the sauce separate. I will start off by cutting the cherry tomatoes. Just like to do a few at a time and then slowly transfer it to this big bowl over here. Um, watch your face, because it might get all over the place. Get a little messy. I'm just gonna put it in here. She's taking over. Always have accident. Broke my nails. One trick to stay skinny and don't eat a lot. Uh, I eat a nice. Random thing. While you're cooking. So by, by the time I'm done, I'm kind of full. In case you're wondering why she's a skinny legend. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. So Thai chilies, garlic. We're just gonna pound gonna it some to like a paste. Easy. the best sauce. Even I taught her how to do it, but she came out and make the best sauce. We have family members texting us every week asking for the recipe. You know who you are. Save this. So we decided to make this video to show our relatives, my sisters, but also all of you. Show off. <laughs> and then the rest of that sugar, lime juice, fish sauce, and this is shrimp paste. It's like the sassy cousin of anchovy paste with like a, their pH balance a little off. I could say what it smells like, but I might get me and my mom kicked off of here. So 
I'll just go ahead and say, don't eat this raw. It's kind of like, you know, anchovies and Caesar dressing. Once you mix it, it makes more sense. And you won't smell or taste it too much. But it'll just add that depth of flavor that you wouldn't be able to achieve with just fish sauce. But if you're just totally against trying this, then you don't have to add it. This was the reason why I said clear your schedule because your breath is gonna be kicking and your booty hole is gonna be beatboxing. <laughs> it smells so bad. Now my mic can get off that the your butt hole. The booty but hole beatboxing. beatboxing. <laughs> and as if we didn't already have enough of that stink, we're gonna add a little more. If it ain't stinky, you gonna wanna throw it in the sinky. Oh my god. Okay, let's you just do this. this. <laughs> you got this. Oh. So this is salted crab. It comes in the frozen section. Um, some people will like to chew on these while they're in the salad I do. too. I do. It's very salty. plate it now and make it look really nice. This would be a good dish to bring to summer barbecues. That's kind of the vibe I was going for. I was craving it, so we're making it. You're definitely going to want a glove for this because this is not going to wash off. So we will put a little bit of this and then I'm just going to mix the whole thing into here. So like I said, you could pound it in the mortar and pestle, but I don't have one big enough and I'm just gonna mix it by hand. So I like to kind of squeeze it so it combines a little better since we're not pounding it. In my opinion, this is a little more clean too than it's not spraying back at you. People don't always top it with shrimp and squid. That's just what we like, so we like to put whatever we want into our foods. I'm right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can eat this by itself. Um, I like it with like rice and steak on the side or skewers. Tidnung. How you come up with it? That's so perfect. So good. Thank you. I mean, so much coming from you. So not all good food is gonna take a long time. I just wanted to throw in something easy for you guys. Just a quick and simple recipe. I hope you guys give this one a try. And like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you can see what we cook up next. Till